Alright, so here's what we have from the first few minutes here. And we've got a beautiful blue fin killie with that powder blue metallic fins on it. And then the red tail or caudal area. Really pretty. And then we've got some least killies, which are always fun. And we could literally have caught dozens of them, hundreds of them. And then this guy swam into the net chasing some little fish. And he's got a red eye, which is like similar to like a warm mouth or something, but I have no idea what he is. I'm not from here, and I don't know. I'll have to look at my collecting book. But he's very interesting. He's got blue and yellow in his fins and kind of a cool spotted pattern and a very red eye. So we'll keep you guys posted. Uh, it might just be like a, a pygmy-sized sunfish, not the elasoma type. But that bluefin killie is just beautiful. we got to get some more of those. They're just really pretty so hopefully we can get more of those so we just got an interesting one and this actually looks like i mean a, a sunfish but it kind of looks like a cichlid i'm gonna need a local because i don't know what the heck this is hey guys what is going on it's alexander williamson here with the secret history living in your aquarium we are in the middle of the florida swamps central florida and this is just absolutely beautiful there are so many fish in this coca-cola colored spring uh, these are springs that come out of the water and they're just in this forested park and it's just absolutely beautiful it's not a national park or anything like that but you can see all the little least killifish and gambusia right here just living doing their thing in this coca-cola colored water and you can see plants that are growing uh, immersed very different like rhizome ferns and palms and we've got this pool net uh look at these trees too just coming right out of the water and it's all flowing really slowly which is really cool but what I'm curious about is over here, if we can get some elasoma or some other uh, fish that'll be under the duff, underneath the, the debris. And this pole is like, I don't know, eight feet long. So I'm going to literally scoop it under here, see if we can get anything from under there. That was pretty bad one-handed, but wanted to include y'all in the process. Let's see if any of these leaves had anything under them so i don't see any but oh i am getting eaten finally by the mosquitoes oh and i just stepped into whatever that is water but look at this beautiful water i'm just so distracted by the the stuff that's in here okay i think i think i see some least uh or some bluefin killies out here i'm gonna try to get them using both hands i'll check back in soon all right so we've got a molly very nice looking and i think you caught that molly in the reeds over here uh and i think i have some younger here we are what are you come on what are you oh actually is that just the least no, no that's a case. no that's a different, that's a topman. That yeah. Of, uh... That might be banded. I can't tell. Might be a banded top minnow. Okay. Well, we're going to put you in the container. Northern Yankee. Wow. You can see just the groups of beautiful fish swimming through the coca-cola dark water this has some of the the uh, actual water with a little bit of a little bit of hardness to it and these fish are so dark so black that i want to see if maybe they're some sort of black or melanistic gambusia here old crayfish almost looks like a freshwater lobster which i guess is what they kind of are but look he's got speckles on him And for size, probably five inches. So in this Ludwigia, this is Repens. I'm just digging right in the shallows. Scooting in. Whatever's in there, in there. 
And so some oh, I see something metallic. Do we have the creature catcher? There's the here's the plant. Very nice. It's got some nice reds on it. And believe it or not, we'll have to rinse them off. I see something metallic and blue. Yeah! Look at him. I don't know if that's a pygmy sunfish. Looks like it. It's blue. Go. Oh, that didn't go anywhere. And you caught a sunfish. No, it didn't go anywhere. But a liz did a lizard just go up the, the stick? That was interesting. I'll have to look at the replay up close. I think something else just went down. Yeah. Got him. Got he. All right, this one. Did you, that, you should quit your net throwing job. <laughs> like, check out the difference in habitat from one side of the road yeah, that's to crazy. the other. This is completely like wooded, non-aquatic. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of aquatics in there, but it's more of like a uh, nice little wooded area compared yeah. to the uh, nice and aquatic side over here. Yeah, I know. I'm excited to see all the immersed types of plants that are starting to pop up. Very cool. All right, yeah, that, yeah, young sunfish. It's not a bluegill, yeah, it's got a yellow tail. Wow, look at how, that's insane how, how pigmented it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it'll eat those other ones. That's insane how pigmented it is. That is wild, just in this ditch we caught it. And it's raining. And, uh, I'm a little Dude, sweaty and a little a bit of wetty. Elosoma. You think it really? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see it swimming. Let's see. Oh. No, it's, I don't think it's a large. Wait. Turn sideways. Bruh. What are you? Uh, oh, it's a sun. Yeah, it's a pygmy sunfish. Not a pygmy Gulf Coast sun. Not a elosoma, but a a normal <laughs> a normal sunfish that's pygmy. The, the the one that's found in like all throughout the south but they're so pretty I want to keep that one yeah yeah we'll keep that for sure guys so here now that we're at a stop look at that beautiful blue fin killie that Grant got red tail metallic blue fins then I got this which we don't know it could be like a swamp darter or something but it looks like an elosoma similar to it and then we've also got all these little least killies that are pregnant um, hanging out in the specimen container, but what I'm really interested in are That bluefin killie we'll have to talk more about them. They're beautiful and whatever she is She's got eggs in her though. So she's near adult size um, Very interesting. She's gonna eat that that uh, Passed away one the other thing I want to show you guys is that there's actually Val and it looks like invasive crypts of some sort, but they're living side by side with all these fish. So in this deep tannic water, you've got plenty of plants, you've got immersed plants, you've got roots. So the nitrates are gonna be nothing, like zero. And yet, even though I just scooped out of here, we've got more beautiful fish right at the surface. Let's see what we find out of a scoop here. And what I want to show you too is that, you know, people think of aquarium fish as mistreated. Well, when you look at a lot of wild fish, this is a female Gambusia, and she's very skinny. I mean, really skinny. And so that's something to keep in mind is that wild fish have a hard life. A lot of them uh, get a lot of diseases and parasites, and then they just, frankly, get eaten a lot. So, always remember that when you're taking good care of your aquarium fish, and especially if they're bred in captivity, that they're living their best life. So we've got a swamp darter, a beautiful little fish, 
and with the swamp darter it's kind of got a red hue we've also got some gambusia that are pretty big this female is very large and uh, she's pretty beat up honestly so life in the wild can be hard but look at this little swamp darter we haven't caught in too many of those yet and they're such a cute fish they look like little wild stiffidons very very cool all right so we got another swamp darter i haven't put it in the water i just wanted you guys to see its color before put it in the water and then put it back but here we've got some little gambusia that are too hoppy for their own good we're gonna throw them back but oh no i just did that and a big fish came up and ate him i know you guys can't really see much because of how black the water is let's get this guy He's starting to hop too. Let's get him into the little critter carrier. We have two of these, and they might be different species of swamp darters. I don't know my swamp darters well enough to say. But I'll document them with photos, and we'll find out from the good folks over at NANFA, the North American Native Fish Association. But look at that fish. Very cool fish. They have very cute faces. I mean, I don't know why they're not in the hobby more. They're just so cool. Hey guys, thanks for joining us on this first day of nine collecting. Uh, I just wanted to uh, see if you guys enjoy this kind of vlog style where we just go through. I just take some of my favorite moments of each day and share them with you guys. If you made it to the end, I take it you like it. If you don't, uh, this video probably won't do well. But if you do like it, leave a comment. Let me know what you think about things. Also, that uh, sunfish slash cichlid looking fish turned out that it was a cichlid uh, and that they're found all over central Florida, that specific uh, black striped, uh, I guess it's an Acara r relative, uh, from early in the uh, cichlid hobby trade and early aquarium trade, so it's been there a really long time. Uh, the swamp darters were swamp darters, the elosomas were elosomas, and the banded uh, fish that we were trying to figure out that lost its bands right away from stress, that was a banded uh, killifish or banded top minnow. Uh, and then the ones at the end here were a cypress darter and a swamp darter. A cypress darter found all over the Gulf Coast, swamp darter found... Uh, in Florida in particular. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and um, just got a little slice of what Grant and I were doing, collecting uh, out back in some uh, state parks and county parks and also just some private land too. Uh, just having fun getting eaten alive by mosquitoes. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, if you guys enjoy this, I'll share more collecting trips and, and try to make it more of a cohesive story. But that was really just the first day getting there and uh, exploring, and we brought him back to his house. So I'll also have footage coming up of that. So like, subscribe for more, and uh, I'll talk to you next time. Thank you so much, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.